What's up, you all? What's going on? We're about to watch this video by T Spell. It's called These Influencers Are Messy. They absolutely are messy, which is why I think that uh, y'all should not listen to these little influencers, uh, if you will. And most of them, they're trying to secure a quick bag. So, you know, got to take that in mind, too. Anywho, let me go ahead and hook up my headphones there we go let's go ahead and get into it well, again glamzilla is once again in the news for something that she is this posted the, uh, on the chick with the beauty blenders right quite the controversy we also have to talk about james charles I and the major is. issues that he's having with Ugh. his brand it's a mess my so ears still wet i just it. Some last year it felt like every single week there was some new headline about like, Michaela. Uh, and I can, while like, she's feel still after her usual <laughs> antics there hasn't just, like, been anything video, really though, major like, glamzilla on the other hand I, uh, well it seems like she's taken Michaela's spot for most controversial beauty creator and that theme is continuing this week oh, she talks a little well. while ago glamzilla had posted this viral makeup hack where she said if you sprayed your lips with a one size setting spray your lipstick would be transfer proof. This is a hack for all transfer my lipstick girls. Okay, you know how you have lipsticks that transfer, but they're so amazing. I'm gonna show you how to make them transfer. This is such a first oh, world problem. This lipstick transfers, but it's so good, right? Okay, here's what I did last week, and it worked. Blot a little bit off, okay? Then this one size setting spray, the Until Dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray. Spray it on your lips. Let it dry, and then look. I'm telling you, this is so good. This is the one size Until Dawn mattifying water. <sighs> Not her doing all this extra stuff to promote this product. This is so ridiculous. This is, you need to try it like this. You're gonna no, like we're not uh, gonna try it. Enjoy. You Nothing want us to buy a whole thing just for our if lipstick works, to not works, come off? But of course, this hack isn't going to be for everyone. Using that much setting spray right up close on your lips isn't the most user-friendly application. So At it's all. easy to understand why a lot of comments under this video were like, mm, not for me. But some people also thought that this video was one of those videos where Glimzilla tries to get sponsored by a brand. One Size is a TikTok viral brand for their setting spray, and some people thought that this may be her way of either trying to land a sponsorship, yeah, maybe this is what looks like her sponsorship. Video, or just to get reposted. Of course, One Size did end up reposting her video, and that's only caused more issues for her. The other day, a creator named Colby, who typically reviews and tests out other viral hacks, posted a video trying out Glamzilla's lipstick hack. She tried it out and she found that it didn't really work for her and she thought Glamzilla was lying. Fortunately, I've lost faith in a lot of influencers, so I'm gonna test it myself, so you don't have to. Here it is. I'm gonna use my Smashbox lipstick. So she applied her red lipstick and to prove this one transfers, she did a test like this and a test like this. Then she applied one size setting spray and apparently her lipstick no longer transferred. I'm about to eat so many chemicals right now. <laughs> I'm gonna let it dry for a second. Here's the old kiss mark. Let's see if it transfers fingers wise. Okay, line number one. Girl, you missed a step. Didn't she say you had to blot shit off or whatever? You, you, you missed a step though, sis, but I'm sure this, this shit ain't work anyway. So, there's that. Then she did another test. This is embarrassing for her. It's actually worse. I think what she did is this. They're lying to you! This what did she do? Pretty as it did when I started. Don't get lied to by these big influencers. Send me hacks, I'll test them for you. Well, this video did not go confused. over too what did well she with Glamzilla. She ended up responding to it, and you could tell she was not happy about what Colby had to say. It's 3 p.m. in the beauty community, and I'm already being called a liar! Well, I'm starting to get the hang of this, and... You know, I love a clapback, so this video is dedicated to the non-believers, the underachievers, the video response and deleters, not cool girl. It's different <laughs> when it comes to the comment section when it's fellow creators. And she has all those beauty blenders in the back for everyone to look at. Girl, you are making it worse for yourself. A beauty creator, not cool. She is Play well with others. That's the number 16, She is so messy. Beauty. Okay, so the video that she's talking about, it, it just didn't work. My hack didn't work for her. But sis, um, don't send hate to that creator, okay? So basically, I go in with a one, I go in with a one size setting spray. This is the on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray. Not up, not not sponsored. Wish it was. And we're going in with a the Fenty Beauty. This is so good, okay? This is the Fenty Beauty Velvet oh, Liquid it, Lipstick in the shade MVP. Is lipstick sponsored? She ain't say that wasn't sponsored. Oh Rihanna, God. you out here sponsoring her? That breaks my heart. I blot my lips first in that hack. I don't do anything else to it, girl. In your video, right after you blotted, you reapplied the lipstick. That's yeah, I did. Sis. See, I did. Ah, see that. Try it again. I go in with a one size setting spray, then I dry it. Then here is where. Nah, why you cut? Nah, you cut the video. 
Yes, it is. I guess it wasn't that embarrassing for me, was it? Be nice. Was that lipstick on the yes, bottom? The ultimate test is, is it transfer proof? Yes, it is. Oh, no. I guess I'll it decide. wasn't that embarrassing for me, was it? Be nice. Be nice. That's what our beauty community is about. Being nice, loving beauty. Keep it simple and keep it moving. Okay. Don't make me bring the villain voice out again. Her caption also said, beauty community rule number seven, play nice with others. Not cool, but here's a full length tutorial for my transfer proof lipstick hack. In this video, I used the iconic one size beauty until dawn waterproof setting spray with one of the most beautiful lipsticks ever, Fenty Beauty's velvet icon in the MVP. And while I can understand Glamzilla being mad over someone saying that she's lying and that it's embarrassing, that's unfortunately the reputation that she's been building for herself over on TikTok. Girl, Glamzilla and this has might really get been following better. in Michaela's footsteps lately with the whole controversy thing and the undisclosed ads, so it's not surprising that a lot of people are trying to catch her in lies. Colby ended up commenting on Glamzilla's response and said hey i tried this hack again without blotting and it transferred again so are you saying that the only way it works is with the fenty red lip and not any red lipstick spill the tea i want to know and glamzilla responded and said nope i used the at makeup by mario lipstick formula in the original video good luck and be nice to people childish in the and petty that will get you so much i'm petty. following you i can't wait she to replied you. within seven eight nine ten within three minutes a uh, copy commenting so this, of course, made oh other Lord. beauty creators want to try out the hack on their own. <laughs> there were some mixed reviews of people saying that it worked. Hmm. It did transfer, but it barely transferred. I think this works. Yeah, I think it does. I don't know. It works. And then there were some people who said it didn't work. I'm gonna fold this in half because I don't want I don't want any confusion. That should be long enough, right? Actually, just more. <laughs> Y'all, y'all are so childish. Said fold it in half like she did in the video, so there's no confusion. Y'all so, need to find a hobby. Go outside. Crazy. It still transferred. I wonder why. I wonder why. I wonder why it's still. I wonder why it's still transferring. But still, Colby decided to try the. Is it that big of a deal that it's transferring? If it is, then put on something else. I don't understand the issue. One more time, she said she talked to Glenn and claimed that they were all good, but she still found the hack did not work for her. This is good the last Lord. thing I'm gonna say. I'm actually at the mall right now picking up one size setting spray. I'm gonna try the hack again. Kobe, please to log to the fuck off of TikTok. Alive, so we have no there, so is this, this what this entire video is about? I'm done with this uh, situation. We we can go ahead and skip in the middle of some drama this week oh, all James because Charles. of his brand painted i feel like we haven't heard anything about his brand in forever now Good. the last thing he launched was that palette back in like the fall and ever since then it's been silence the other day james posted this tiktok where he <sighs> said when i design a new painted product but then realize i have to hand mix every single shade of paint for swatches and people were asking him if this was going to be for his blushes it must be well over a year ago now that james was teasing these blushes for his brand but he hasn't said anything about them since so people were wondering if that was going to be his next launch james responded to all the speculation and said that he actually ran into major issues with the blushes that really set things back for him blushes incoming girl i certainly hope so i made a big mistake as a brand owner let's talk about it and let's talk about where the hell are the painted blushes and it literally took seven rounds of samples to finally get an approved formula but then came time for the packaging oh the packaging obviously the theme is white and then colorful swatches of the product that's inside so duh the blushes needed to match so i spent hours hand mixing paint and creating all these 3d swatches to send over to the factory so i'm sure you can imagine my reaction when i received this in the mail now this is the unicarton okay looks completely fine until you actually look at the product inside now maybe i'm delusional but you guys can let me know <laughs> did these look like the same color to you no they don't and even worse okay let's open up the actual component uh, another new color new color unlocked and right away people were like wait 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 i think i've seen this film before these look like the patrick ta blushes as you can see they do look very similar so much so that people were accusing him of copying patrick ta james actually responded <laughs> to all the comments and he said he's not copying every brand is just doing their packaging like this right now Am I losing my mind or are people on here just like crazy? You can't look at these two things and say they're a copy of each other just because they're both in a rectangular component and have a cream and powder formula inside. Just like Tom Ford, just like one size, just like Dubious Place, just like Charlotte Tilbury, just like every other brand. I feel like Comment and something important to note is that no creams. Okay, I'm done with this like video. Ford, Ciao, all, all you you beauty gurus go to hell. Log off the internet. Y'all are irritating. All y'all are fake and it is tiring. It is so tiring with the capital T tiring, but especially this chick that got the, the Glamzilla who got all those beauty blenders and had the audacity to ask for more to give away. $20 per beauty blender. She definitely needs to go to hell. Anywho, um, a hot mess per usual, but this is not a surprise.